deciphering the escalating tensions on the Korean Peninsula, a comprehensive analysis introduction. In today's video, we will embark on an in-depth analysis of the escalating tensions on the Korean Peninsula, shedding light on the recent developments, diplomatic maneuvers, and potential implications for regional and global security. We will navigate through the complexities of the situation, examining the actions and statements of key players involved, and providing a comprehensive understanding of the evolving dynamics, the art of media manipulation. We must recognize the significance of the article's timing and tone. The release of such information is strategic, intended to shape public opinion and influence the actions of various stakeholders. It serves as a warning, a call to action, and a way to deflect blame should a conflict arise. Delving into the New York Times article, the New York Times recently published an article titled, USC Signs That North Korea May Be Preparing a Deadly Military Move. This article serves as a catalyst for our discussion as it provides valuable insights into the current state of affairs. The article suggests that North Korean leader Kim Jong-un is contemplating a deadly military action against South Korea, either coinciding with the upcoming South Korean presidential election in April or the U.S. midterm elections in October, revealing the strategic intentions. The timing of the potential North Korean action as reported by the New York Times is not coincidental. It is strategically calculated to maximize impact and potentially influence the political outcomes in both South Korea and the United States. By targeting these specific periods, Kim Jong-un aims to create uncertainty, sow discord, and potentially sway public opinion. Understanding the absence of full-scale war, despite the ominous overtones of deadly military action, the article also emphasizes that U.S. officials do not believe this would escalate into a full-scale war. This assessment is based on the assumption that Kim Jong-un recognizes the devastating consequences of such a conflict and would likely seek to avoid it. Examining historical precedents, the article draws parallels to previous incidents, such as the early leading North Korean artillery bombardment of Yeonpyeon Island and the sinking of the South Korean warship Shannon in early leading, both of which resulted in casualties but did not escalate into a wider conflict. These examples are presented to support the argument that a limited military strike may be intended to avoid a broader war, assessing Russia's diplomatic play. In a separate development, Russian Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov has accused the U.S., Japan, and South Korea of preparing for war with North Korea. This accusation is an attempt by Russia to shift the blame and portray the U.S.-led alliance as the aggressor, while simultaneously attempting to undermine the credibility of South Korea's concerns. Evaluating the role of China, the article briefly touches upon the role of China in the current situation, acknowledging that China has been aiding North Korea in evading sanctions. However, it also suggests that China's influence over North Korea is limited and may be winning due to Kim Jong-un's closer ties with Russia. This assessment implies that China may not be able to effectively dissuade North Korea from taking provocative actions, anticipating a U.S.-North Korea standoff. The analysis presented in the video suggests that the United States is preparing for a potential military confrontation with North Korea without relying on China's mediation. This approach is based on the perception that China's influence over North Korea is limited and that direct engagement with North Korea is necessary to address the threat. Navigating the diplomatic trip, the United States has publicly stated its willingness to engage in unconditional and non-hostile dialogue with North Korea. This diplomatic overture is intended to avoid accusations of being the instigator of conflict and to maintain a moral high ground in the international community. Conclusion The escalating tensions on the Korean Peninsula demand careful attention and diplomatic finesse. The actions and statements of key players involved indicate a complex interplay of strategic calculations, historical precedents, and diplomatic maneuvers. While the threat of military conflict remains a concern, the delicate balance of power and the pursuit of strategic objectives shape the evolving dynamics of the situation. If you found this video helpful, remember to like, share, and destroy that subscribe button. Also, stay tuned for the latest current affairs 
on the Capture the Intelligence channel. Your support enables us to continue providing insightful analysis and commentary on critical global issues.